Can you imagine if you were a fish swimming upstream, trying to get home to your spawning grounds, but you can't get there because there's a dam across the river? This happens more than you might think, because there are a lot of dams on our North Carolina rivers. Many of them were built more than 100 years ago for hydroelectric power or flood control or to create water supplies for increasing populations. How many dams do you think there are along North Carolina rivers? Think about it for a few seconds. The number is much higher than you probably think. Estimates are between 15 and 20,000. And the interesting thing is, most of these dams no longer even serve a purpose. In recent decades in North Carolina, there have been 15 major dam removals. But sometimes it is just not feasible to remove a dam. For instance, on the Cape Fear River in Bladen County, the dam cannot be demolished because it would interrupt the water supply system to several large towns and cities. About 50% of the fish that want to make it upstream will make it past each lock and dam. So if 50% makes it past the first lock, and 50% of those make it past the second lock, and 50% of those make it past the third lock, we're only getting about 10 to 15% of the fish that to reach their traditional spawning grounds. So, to help shad and other fish species swim upstream, the Army Corps of Engineers is constructing a fish passage at lock and dam number one. The Rock Rapids fish passage is designed to appear to be similar to a natural rapids. The fish we're talking about, shad, striped bass, and others, are used to passing over natural rapids, so that's what we're trying to mimic. We're hoping to get a close to 100% success with the fish passage structure in place. 